In this video, I'll show you how to create a Google form. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's go and get right into this. Firstly, we need to get to Google Forms. So either you can just use a search engine and go and search for it. Um, you could just go and type in Google Forms like so and hit enter. Then what you need to do is go to one of the top results, this one here, online form creator. Then you go and tap on go to forms like so. And then here we are. Or alternatively, you can go and tap on the apps button, which is this sort of nine dot icon in the top right. Then you can scroll down and as you can see, we've got the option for forms and you can tap there and get taken straight there. Now you've got two different options. Either you can go and create a form using one of these existing templates here, or alternatively, you can go and create a form from scratch. In this video, I'll show you how to go and create a blank form. So we'll go and tap on blank like so. Now here we are in this brand new form. So the first thing I recommend doing is just going naming this. So for example, if you were doing like an application for a game or something, you could name this game application or something like that. The title and description are actually quite important because people are gonna go and see this when they go and click on your form. Then once you've gone and added a title and description, what I recommend doing is just actually naming the file. So come up to the top left and just tap on untitled form. And what it's then going to do is go and copy the title as the file name. So that's it guys, we've now gone and named it. Now what you want to do is get into this first question. So all you need to do is go and tap on it. Then what you want to do is firstly, before we even go and write the question, what I like to go and do is choose the answer type. As you can see at the minute, it's set to multiple choice. If we tap on this here, we've got all these different options from a short answer to time. You know, there's quite a variance here. So in this case, I'm gonna have a multiple choice because I want to go and ask a question like, what is your favorite color? So I'll type that in now. And you may notice as well with some questions you may write that the question types are gonna automatically change depending if it's like a multiple choice or a short answer, it's gonna detect that. And you can also go and make certain bits of the text bold. For example, I can make favorite bold like that. It's gonna be up to you. But now once you've gone and added the title, if you're using something like a multiple choice, you need to go and add in the options. So I could go and type in blue, for example, then I can go and hit uh, down here, add option and type in yellow. And then I could go and add a green and so on. And then once you're happy with the options and the name of the question, then what you can do is come down to the bottom. As you can see here, we've got duplicate, we've got delete, and we've got required. Required basically means that the question has to be completed in order for the form to be submitted at the end and to go into the next question. So in this case, I'm not going to, but that's gonna be up to you. And there's also um, a more buttons here as well, where you can add a description and things like that. Now, if you go over to the right, we've got a few more options here as well. We've got add question, import questions, add title and description, add image, add video, and also add section. So by default, this question here is currently in section one, but if I want to create another one, if I click here, as you can see, we now have other, another section here as well. So if you've got like a different set of questions or something like that, and if you want to go on and do something, then just go and press the undo button in the top right like so, and it will then undo it. Now let's go and click on this plus button and add another question. So now I could do something like, how old are you? Or something like that. And just to show you how you can go and utilize another section, go and click on add section at the bottom of this list of options here. And as you can see, we're now creating a new one. And so then what you need to do is just go and keep repeating the process and see so you've added all the questions in all the different sections that you may want. In this case, I'm just going to go and delete this here because I don't really want to do any more. I just want to show you as an example. And there we go. Now that I've added all the questions, now I want to go and set a theme. To do that, go to the top right and go and tap on this color palette, which is called customize theme, tap here. Then it will take a moment to load and as you can see, we can go and change uh, the fonts, which is currently set to Roboto. And we can also go and change the color as well. Um, so yeah, you can go and fully customize that and then just go and close it off once you're done with it. Now the next thing you can do is also go and change some settings as well. So to the left of this questions panel, all you want to do is set on settings just like this. As you can see, we've got a few different options here. And another thing as well, you can go and tap on responses to the right of questions. And here you can go and see all the responses and the information. And you can also go and link it to a spreadsheet as well, which is useful. However, once you finish doing everything and you want to go and get the link to go and send to people so they can go and fill it in, all you need to do is go to the top right and go and tap on send. And as you can see, we've got a few different options. So you can go and send it as an email. But if you go to the right of this email icon and press on this sort of paper clip, then what we can do is just go and get uh, a URL. So you can go and tap on short on URL just so it looks a bit tidier. And then what you can do is just right click on it and press copy and that's it. And just a quick example, I'll make a new tab and we'll go to the form. This is how it's going to go and look for people who go and do it. As you can see, it's really easy. They can set the color, type in an age, um, and then they can go and press submit at the bottom and that's gonna be it. 
And let's just go and quickly go and check out the responses. So we'll now come back here and press cancel and we'll go and press some responses. And as you can see, we can now go and see all the data. It's really useful. Probably wondering how can I go and view the responses once I've gone and closed off the spreadsheet? Well, that's really easy. All you need to do is go back to the start of this video and go and find how you originally got to forms. Because if I go and click on forms home, as you can see, it's now gone and appeared here. 